Now turning to a local spotlight, the COVID quarantine limited a local mom's ability to work. She actually closed her business and she decided to take her mind off the pandemic by keeping busy. So she turned to baking with one goal, creating the perfect cookie. Sounds easy, right? Well, creating a lab of sorts right in her own kitchen, Tracy Jones truly succeeded. Now those perfectly baked cookies have gone from a homemade hobby to a full blown brick and mortar business, actually two of them. And I went inside Milk Mustache to learn the story and get my hands on a few of those cookies. Hi, welcome to Milk Mustache. We always carry 12 flavors and eight of the 12 are best sellers. Best sellers like Golden Goose, Cookies and Cream, Campfire Bliss, Red Velvet Cream Cheese, and of course, Chocolate Chip. For the folks at home that don't know Milk Mustache, this is what separates this cookie from all the rest. That is our signature baking technique. So it's all about the crunchy exterior and the soft, gooey interior, all natural, no preservatives. These gourmet cookies are truly like no other. And the creator, Tracy Jones, is pretty unique herself. She's not a trained baker, but she does have a passion to add a little sweetness to life. The busy wife and mom of four turned to the kitchen in 2020 as a source of decompression. I um, had a completely different business. And when the pandemic hit and the city shut down, um, my business shut down. And I was really just looking for a distraction, you know? So I just said, hey, to my family, I'm gonna start making cookies. What did your family say when you were <laughs> started all of so, this? It's really funny. They tease me to this day because they have stories of me um, when I was making the cookies and sitting in front of my oven on a stool with a notepad. I was really concentrated watching the behavior of the cookies in the oven. And that would tell me what I needed to change in my recipe, how they were spreading, how they weren't, how they were browning, how they were rising, different things, and with what I wanted to accomplish. And so I would take notes. But my first cookie mm -hmm. was big and flat as a pancake. Uh-oh, so you had to go back to the I drawing board. I had to board. go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, and soon her home kitchen was filled with yummy goodness. And her four kids and husband were the only ones eating them. So she posted this message on social media. So I started reaching out to the community and saying, hey, where can I donate cookies? Quarantine birthdays, first responders, hospitals, nurses, daycares that were still open for first responder parents. How can we donate? And then after doing that, there was just this feedback that was a little unreal and, and unexpected. People wanting to buy cookies and I had no way to sell the cookies. I wasn't set up for that. But she knew she was onto something and started her business, selling at farmer's markets. Her first market sold out in less than two hours and the business kept growing. In two short years, Tracy opened two brick and mortar businesses and thousands of cookies sold and shipped nationwide. Milk Mustache is a hit. I'm not going to ask you who's your favorite child, but do you have a favorite <laughs> cookie? <laughs> it's so funny because I'm asked all the time about the favorite cookie, and I actually say that. I say, like your kiddos, it's so hard to, to have a favorite. But in all honesty, I would say my heart is set on the chocolate chip only because this is where it all started for us. The whole business was started and based on an act of kindness, donating cookies to brighten someone else's day. We are very grateful for our customer base. They've been so supportive, um, so loyal, so friendly. Um, so we just really do value our customers and we want to thank everybody for, for being there for us. Well, they always have 12 different flavors for feature flavors that rotate every week. And every Monday, there's a new drop, a new oh. flavor. I think that is, um, oh boy, we've got, okay. Oh, well, uh, one, the peppermint in. hot cocoa was just stolen. I believe you have I think the, just the classic chocolate chip. Yeah. Classic chocolate chip. We have cookies and cream, campfire bliss. Um, this is the jingle jangle. Um, mm -hmm. which is a sugar cookie, Campfire Bliss, and then this green one is the Merry Grinchmas. Wow. I mean, they're so good, right?
Oh my gosh. Life changing. And it's like a whole meal almost. Ugh. These are huge. They are so good. And it's such a sweet story for Tracy. Uh, if you want to try milk mustache cookies for yourself, we mm. do have a link to the locations and how to order on our website. It's under the scene on section of HoustonLife.tv. I'm going to dive in now. That's a really good cookie. Right. Good job, Tracy. Congrats. I love hearing stories like that. Very cool. Such a success.